Welcome to the longest running quiz show in the area. Category. High school students compete to answer questions on topics from art to science, history to current events. And now, here's your Categories host, John Bartell. Hi, welcome to Categories and our last game of the 2011-2012 category season as we bring you the Blue Valley Northwest Huskies versus the Blue Valley Tigers. Let's go ahead and meet our competitors first from Northwest. Uh, I'm Jesse, I'm a senior. I'm Andrew, and I'm a sophomore. I'm Sam, I'm a sophomore. I'm Crystal, and I'm a junior. I'm Dan, and I'm a freshman. And our competitors from Blue Valley. I'm Alan, and I'm a senior. I'm James, and I'm a senior. I'm Calvin, I'm a junior. I'm Jamie, I'm a junior. I'm Awesome, and I'm a junior. All right, fantastic. Here on Categories in the first round, we will ask a team a question. If they respond correctly, they earn a point. If they do respond incorrectly, the other team will get a chance to steal that category. We did a coin toss before we started taping. It was won by Blue Valley. So, Tigers, here is the first category. U.S. government. Established in 1935, this program requires the particip participation of 90% of all U.S. workers. What is it? James. Social Security. Social Security is correct. Huskies, you have the next category. It is sports, specifically rodeo. How many of the animal's legs must a cowboy tie in a calf roping contest? Dan. Four. I'm sorry, four is incorrect. Tigers, chance to steal this sports rodeo category. How many of the animal's legs must a cowboy tie in a calf roping contest? Calvin. Three. Three is correct. Tigers, you do get the next category. It is general knowledge. Give the general term for chemicals that kill unwanted weeds and other plants. Alan? Pesticides. I cannot accept pesticides. Huskies, chance to steal this general knowledge category. Jesse? Herbicides. Herbicides is correct. Huskies, you do get the next category. It is fine arts. Who carved the famed Medici tombs in Florence? Crystal? Michelangelo. Michelangelo is correct. Tigers, U.S. history for you. A multitude of these birds is said to have aided the Mormons in Utah in 1848 by halting the locust plague. It is now the state bird of Utah. Name it. Jamie. The hawk. It is not the hawk. Huskies, chance to steal this U.S. history category. A multitude of these birds is said to have aided the Mormons in Utah in 1848 by halting the locust plague. It is now the state bird of Utah. Name it. Jesse? The crow. It is not the crow. It's the seagull. The seagull. Huskies, you get the next category, science terminology. What branch of agriculture includes the raising of fruits and vegetables? Dan. Horticulture or horticulture? We can accept horticulture. Yes, very good. Tigers, music composers is your question. Identify the original nationality of this following composer. Richard Wagner. James. German. He is German, that is correct. Northwest, U.S. geography is your category. What large state borders only Idaho and Oregon? Andrew. Washington. Washington is correct. Tigers, math, geometry is your category. What is the term for two or more circles that lie in the same plane and have the same center? Alan. Concentric. Concentric, very good. Huskies, vocabulary is your, is your category. If we attend an incipient, incipient rally, would it be a violent, dull, threatening, or just beginning? Crystal. Just beginning. Just beginning, very good. Blue Valley, literature is your category. What author put the term Okies into the American vocabulary? James. John Steinbeck. John Steinbeck is correct. Excuse me, U.S. government, specifically law, is your category. They were passed by Congress and by 26 states during the 1990s to do something about career criminals. 
What is this baseball-inspired term for these laws calling for harsh sentences for repeat offenders? Tigers, chance to steal this U.S. government law question. They, pa they were passed by Congress and by 26 states during the 1990s to do something about career criminals. What is the baseball-inspired term for these laws calling for harsh sentences for repeat offenders? James. Three strikes laws. Three strikes laws. Very good. Blue Valley, you have the next category. It is current events. Name the country in which SEAL Team 6 recently parachuted into and rescued two aid workers. Alan. Somalia. Somalia. Very good. Huskies, women's history is your category. Name the first woman Supreme Court Justice of the United States. Crystal. Sandra Day O'Connor. Very good. Tigers, general knowledge is your category. A US Today, USA Today analysis shows that an average of one worker per week dies in what job? The country's most dangerous profession. Jamie. Agriculture. Cannot accept agriculture. Huskies, chance to steal this general knowledge category. A USA Today analysis shows that an average of one worker per week dies in what job? The country's most dangerous profession. Dan. Coal mining. It is not coal mining. It's a fisherman. Fisherman. Huskies, you have the next category. It is geography. What country owns the island of Corsica? Crystal. France. France does. Uvali, science, mammals. What family is the mink a member of? Calvin. Rodent. Cannot accept rodent. Huskies, science, mammals is the category. What family is the mink a member of? Dan? The dog family. It is not in the dog family, it's a weasel. A weasel. Huskies, you do get a chance, you do get the next category. It is U.S. military. What is the U.S. Air Force Reserve Force called? Tigers, chance to steal this U.S. military question. What's the U.S. Air Force Reserve Force called? It's the Air National Guard, Air National Guard. Tigers, you do get the next category. It is a U.S. government again. To prevent a tyrannical government, the Founding Fathers built what system into the Constitution? Awesome. Checks and balances. Checks and balances is exactly what we're looking for. Huskies, sports is your category. How many feet deep is the end zone in football? Jesse? 30. 30 is correct. Tigers, you have the next category. It's Shakespeare. A handkerchief is a major prop in which of these plays? Hamlet, Macbeth, The Merchant of Venice, Julius Caesar, Othello. Awesome. Macbeth. I'm sorry, it's not Macbeth. Huskies, chance to steal. Crystal? Othello. Othello is, is the correct answer. Huskies, you do get the next category. It is another literature question. In 1790, the Philadelphia Spelling Book by John Barry achieved a unique distinction. It was the first book to be registered under a certain new law. Name that law. Time on that. Tiger's chance to steal this literature category. In 1790, the Philadelphia Spelling Book by John Barry achieved a unique distinction. It was the first book to be registered under a, new, under a certain new law. Name that law. Alan? The Stamp Act. Cannot accept the Stamp Act. We're looking for copyright law. Copyright law. Blue Valley, you do get the next category. It is science. What is the temperature scale which does not have negative numbers? Calvin? Kelvin. That is exactly right. <laughs> Roman, you rang it out, couldn't wait. All right, Huskies, fine arts, painting is your category. Abstract expressionalism is a style of painting in which the works seldom contain definable objects. In what country was abstract expressionalism predominant art form in the 1940s and 50s? Dan? France. 
cannot accept France. Tigers, chance to steal this fine arts painting category. Abstract expressionism is a style of painting in which the works seldom contain definable objects. James. The Netherlands. It's not the Netherlands, it's the United States. United States. Tigers, you do get the next category, it is history. During World War II, Adolf Hitler was known as De Fuhrer. Who was known as Il Duce? Awesome. Mussolini. Mussolini. Northwest, you have a math question. Think of three geometric shapes. Okay, what is the sum of the sides of a stop sign, a yield sign, and a honeycomb? Jesse. 17. 17. Blue Valley, science, English, excuse me, English history. I was reading the next, next card. English history is your category. Sir Thomas More refused to recognize what king as the head of the Church of England? James? Henry VIII. Henry VIII. Huskies, general knowledge is your category. Benjamin Franklin's well-known adage begins with this, early to bed and early to rise. How does it end? Crystal? Makes a man healthy, wealthy, and wise. That's what we're looking for, very good. Tigers, literature is your category. One of Edgar Allan Poe's best known titles had to do with the horrors of the Spanish Inquisition. What tale was that? James? The Conqueror of Worm. I'm sorry, cannot accept that. Huskies, literature is the category, your chance to steal. One of Edgar Allan Poe's, Andrew? The Pit and the Pendulum. That is exactly what we're looking for. Huskies, you do get the next category. It is U.S. government. The election of 1800 led to an amendment to the Constitution in 1804, providing for separate election of president and vice president. Which amendment was it? Jesse? The 11th. I'm sorry, it is not the 11th. Tigers, U.S. government's the category. Awesome. The 12th. It is the 12th. Tigers, you get the next category, famous places. In France, the tomb of the unknown soldier is at the Arc de Triomphe. Where is the U.S. in, oh, excuse me, where in the U.S. is the tomb of the unknown soldier? James? Arlington. Arlington, we can accept that, Arlington National Cemetery. Huskies, current events is your category. Which of the following was not part of the president's blueprint for an economy that is built to last? Manufacturing, healthcare, education, or clean energy? Dan. Manufacturing. Sorry, cannot accept that. Tigers, current events is the category your chance to steal. James. Healthcare. Healthcare is correct. Tigers, you do get the next category. It is general knowledge. What do we call the crime of seizing a commercial vehicle by force? James. Grand Theft Auto. Cannot accept that. Huskies. Chance to steal this general knowledge category. What do we call? Sorry, cannot accept that either. There would be any commercial vehicle, so it would be hijacking. Hijacking. Can't accept carjacking. I apologize. All right, with that siren that does denote going into our halftime with a score of Blue Valley 14, Blue Valley Northwest 12. At this time in our program, we do go to a student for a campus update, and they will let us know what is going uh, on in, or in and around their school. And for Blue Valley Northwest, we have Jesse. Jesse, what is happening with the Huskies? Well, in about a week, we're ready to put on our winter musical, which is um, South Pacific, with a couple of team members here in the cast and pit. Um, our classmate, Andrew Ying, is the only high school student who made it to the finalist round of the Google Megabit Challenge, where People submit a plan to uh, Google on how they can profit the most from their business. And are we the people team? Uh, one state last week. We are going to nationals in um, late April and early May. Fantastic. All right. And for Blue Valley, it looks like Alan. Alan, what is happening with the Tigers? Um, well, our Sadie Hawkins dance, which used to be called Sweetheart, is going on this Saturday. Um, so this week is Spirit Week. Um, our girls' basketball season is doing well. They're 11 and 3 so far. Um, we're putting on our school musical, Crazy For You, in a week and a half. Uh, uh, I don't know the exact results, but at Future Business Leaders of America, I know our participants did pretty well. Um, we were also the Scholars Bowl regional champions, um, and uh, many of our students are taking the AMC 10 and 12 tomorrow. And finally, uh, our school has four presidential scholars, and 
uh, won the Siemens Award for Advanced Placement. So, thanks awesome. For that's uh, that's really good stuff um, for both schools. Excellent. As we head into our second round, it is the lightning round. We will have a look and listen question for our participants today. They have a monitor here and a speaker that they will be able to hear and be able to see the clue. Uh, and you will, at home will be able to see it as well. Uh, just as a reminder that those who ring in first and answer correctly, it is worth two points. Two points. And one other thing I do have to remind you that it may be look and listen. It may just be look. It might just be listen. So get ready. Here we go. Look and listen question. Give us two of the three names this species is known by. Oh, Andrew? Mountain lion and jaguar. Cannot accept mountain lion and jaguar. Tigers? James? Mountain lion and cougar. Mountain lion, cougar, and puma would have been the third. So two points to Blue Valley. As we will continue here with the remainder of our lightning round, a question will be placed on the floor for either team to answer. Team responds correctly, they earn a point. If they respond incorrectly, the other team will get a chance to steal. So here we go, journalism. As a matter of fact, journalistic history for both teams. Two of the greatest hoaxes in the history of journalism concerned the discovery of Batman on the moon and the Atlantic balloon crossing. What 19th century man of imagination perpetrated these hoaxes? Awesome. Pulitzer? Is that Pulitzer? Huskies, chance to steal this a journalism history question. Two of the greatest hoaxes in the, journal, in the history of journalism concerned discovery of Batman on the moon and an Atlantic balloon crossing. What 19th century man of imagination perpetrated these hoaxes? Crystal? Hearst. Is that Hearst? It's Edgar Allan Poe. Edgar Allan Poe. Of the aforementioned Pitt and Pendulum. Okay, world geography for both teams. I'll locate the city generally, and you locate it specifically. Krakow in Eastern Europe. Jamie? Poland. Poland, very good. Music, specifically pop bands. Four Ohioans, including brothers Nick and Drew Lachey, moved to LA, named themselves for the temperature at LAX when they landed. Named this boy band. Alan? Hot Shell Ray. I cannot accept that. Huskies, you have a chance to steal this music pop bands category. Four Ohioans, included brothers Nick and Drew Lachey, moved to LA and named themselves for the temperature at LAX when they landed. Name this boy band. Looking at 98 degrees, 98 degrees in the era of the boy bands. That was a sad time in our nation's history. All right, here we go, both teams. Science, geology for both teams. Geologists speculate that what continent will eventually split along its Great Rift Valley? Awesome. Africa. Africa, very good. Fine arts for both teams. What's pictured in Winslow Homer's painting, The Fox Hunt? The fox, the hunters, the horses, or the dogs? Dan. I'm sorry, the dogs is incorrect. Tigers, chance to steal this fine arts question. What picture, what's pictured in Winslow Homer's painting, The Fox Hunt? The fox, the hunters, the horses, or the dogs? Calvin? The hunters. I'm sorry, it's the fox, the fox. Vocabulary for both teams. A slang expression that means something or someone extraordinary or marvelous using the prefix hum. Dan? Humbug. It's not humbug. Tigers, chance to steal this vocabulary question. It's a slang expression that means something or someone extraordinary, extraordinarily or marvelous, marvelous using the prefix hum. It's a humdinger. Humdinger. It's a real humdinger, I tell you. All right, here we go. Literatures for both teams. What American novel begins the cold that passed reluctantly from the earth and the retiring fogs revealed an army stretched out on the hills resting. As the landscape changed from brown to green, the army awakened. James. Farewell to arms. 
And it's not farewell to arms. Huskies, chance to steal that literature question. When American novel begins, the cold passed reluctantly from the earth, and the retiring fogs revealed an army stretched out on the hills resting. As the landscape changed from brown to green, the army awakened. Jesse. The Naked and the Dead. It's not The Naked and the Dead. It's The Red Badge of Courage. Red Badge of Courage. Sports for both teams. Which city once hosted three Major League Baseball teams at the same time? Awesome. New York. New York. U.S. history for both teams. Multiple choice. What was Union General George Meade's major mistake at the Battle of Gettysburg? Who's Jamie. <laughs> Time on that. U.S. history is your chance to steal on this one, Huskies. What was Union General George Meade's major mistake at the Battle of Gettysburg? Losing too many men, allowing the Confederates to take Gettysburg, not being equipped properly, allowing General Lee to escape. Dan. Losing too many men. Sorry, it was allowing General Lee to escape. Allowing General Lee to escape. Hmm? All right, gentlemen, we need to make sure that you do not communicate. Okay, that's your warning. Music, instruments for both teams. The Beatles and the Rolling Stones used what exotic, exotic Indian instrument? Crystal. Sitar. Sitar, very good. Science, biology for both teams. Telophase is the final stage of what process? Dan. Meiosis. Can I accept meiosis? Tigers, Alan? Mitosis. Mitosis, very good. You've opened up a bit of a lead here with a score of Blue Valley 20, Blue Valley Northwest 13. Economics is the next category. The amount paid by a customer when he uses his broker's credit to buy a security is called what? Jesse? Principal. It is not the principal. Tigers, chance to steal this economics category. The amount paid by a customer when he uses his broker's credit to buy a security is called what? Jamie. A loan? It's not the loan, it's the margin. The margin, we're looking for the margin. Literature for both teams. Four of Shakespeare's histories were based on what royal war? Crystal. War of the Roses. War of the Roses, very good. Science, biology for both teams. The tough outer covering of the brain is called what? Dura Mater, very good. Sam, make sure, you're, make sure you're called on before you answer that. S uh, music, composers for both teams. Identify the original nationality of the following composer. Bella Bartok. James. British. I cannot accept British. Huskies, chance to steal this music composer's question. Identify the original nationality of the following composer. Bella Bartok. Crystal. Dutch. It's not Dutch. Hungarian. Hungarian. Current events for both teams. Of the four remaining Republican candidates, who is the only one not to have won? Jamie. Ron Paul. Ron Paul. History for both teams. The Battle of Chapultepec. Oh boy, this is a hard one. Chapultepec. Chapultepec was the last battle of one of our major wars. What war was this? Jamie. The French-Indian War. It is not the French-Indian War. Huskies, chance to steal this history question. The Battle of Chapultepec was the last battle of one of our major, ba of major wars. What war was it? Jesse. The Mexican-American War. That is correct, Mexican-American War. Fine arts, music for both teams. Name the composer, Dance of the Sugar Plum Fairy. Dan. Tchaikovsky. Tchaikovsky is correct. Science for both teams. Who proved that light waves and radio waves differ only in wavelength? Was it Thomas Edison, Heinrich Hertz, Joseph Henry, or Enrico? Heinrich Hertz. That is correct. You have narrowed the gap a bit here. Blue Valley 21, Blue Valley Northwest 18. Sports is the next category. The phrase 1-2 is associated with which sport? Jesse? Boxing. Boxing is correct. Science, chemistry. There are 20 common amino acids. All but two of these end in what suffix? James. Ene. Ene is correct. 
fine arts, both teams, identify the profession of Alexander Gudinov. It was a ballet dancer. Ballet dancer. Spelling for both teams. How do you spell penitentiary? Calvin? P E N E T E N T I A R Y. Sorry, that is incorrect. Huskies, chance to steal this category spelling. How do you spell penitentiary? Jesse? P E N E T E N T E N. T-A-R-Y. I'm sorry, that too is incorrect. P-E-N-I-T-E-N-T-I-A-R-Y. No point awarded on that one. Literature for both teams. This fictional hero composed a three stanza ballad while fighting a duel. He's the title character in a romance by Rostand. Name him. It's Cyrano de Bergerac. Economics for both teams. The Federal Reserve Board charges a fee on loans to its member banks. This fee is commonly referred to as what? Crystal? Interest. I'm sorry, I cannot accept that. <laughs> Tigers, economics is the category. The Federal Reserve Board charges a fee on loans to member, to member banks. This fee is commonly referred to as what? It's the discount rate, the discount rate. Geography for both teams. How many nations make up Central America? Jamie. Seven. Seven, right on the money. World history for both teams. How did the United States find out the Soviets were installing missiles in Cuba? Dan? Two spy planes flew over Cuba and took pictures. Very good, we're just looking for the U-2, nice job. Math for both teams. What is the quotient of three-eighths divided by one-half? Alan. Three-fourths. Three-fourths. Music, terminology. What word beginning with E is the lip formation used to play mouth-blown? Crystal? Embouchure. Embouchure, very good. U.S. geography for both teams. The highest college campus in the United States is located at 10,000 feet at Leadville, in which state? Awesome. Colorado. It is Colorado. And with that final answer, you have uh, won the game with a score of Blue Valley 25, Blue Valley Northwest 21. A very well fought game here on Categories. Please join us again here next time as we bring you the best and brightest minds of high school students all throughout Johnson County.